Oh my god. Who is this? Is this Aubrey Plaza's character? Okay, it is. But <laughs> if she was so friendly the whole time, why'd she have to bust in like that now? So we're picking up from where one division left us off at. At least from what I've seen, she's still in the hex. So I think that each episode is supposed to be like a TV show. And this is like the mayor of East Town, which was a really good show. She has like a whole different personality. I didn't look to see what city that they're in, but yeah, they're still in Westview. Oh, <laughs> she was crushed. Like what happened in uh, Multiverse of Madness. Black fingers, kind of like she used the dark hold. Her reaction's interesting. Kind of like her real personality was showing underneath. Oh, it's her necklace, her brooch. Oh, got some rigor mortis going on over there. Okay, will they show us a face? Who do we see? Good question. <laughs> She's supposed to have the accent from Mayor of Easttown down in the crick. Okay. Seems like every episode is going to have a themed opening based on the Danish series Wanda <laughs> Agnes of Westview. I couldn't read that title fast enough. I haven't seen a library this busy in a while. And this is, um, she was in uh, WandaVision also. Oh, is she dead? That was really revealing. I was going to call her Anya, like from Buffy, because that's who she'll be for me forever. Okay, Dottie, that's her name. Interesting. A book on debates? I wonder how that's relevant. Oh, it looks like her lair? Or is it burned on the other side? Um, that's... <laughs> Hella creepy. <laughs> Why are you whispering? Also, there's no other copy of the book. Oh, does that say something? He even eating that. I think he's from last season too. Or one division. That was fast. Hmm. Well, there she goes. Didn't know she'd show up so early. It's interesting how much they're referencing Multiverse of Madness. I didn't expect it. I feel like you have to read between the lines through what they say. Oh. Breaking the fourth wall. 
Mrs. Bucky to be no dragging this privilege so slowly. Uh, seems logical. Though I need to give you the reason, which is this my tracks for the pain. My least disturbed recreation for what seems like the least evil tool in the Oh magic. <laughs> Let's stick to reality for a while. Well, you both have some pretty tight access to my room. I can show you in there. I'm so curious about how she was able to get into the hex. Or I guess the city's not under the hex anymore. Only she is. And this is the life that created for her. So I guess anybody could probably come in, now that I think about it. I remember him too. Oh, whose hair could that be? I was just thinking, like, we don't know what the people's lives were like before Wanda made the hex. So it's kind of weird that, you know, their jobs kind of line up with the life that Agatha is living right now. Oh, there's like a message. Ark? Oh, <laughs> Darkhold? Okay. Oh. Seems like something was coming through. It seems like he's like trying to stop her from waking up or breaking out of it. I guess I should stop guessing about the hex because I think I'm just confused <laughs> at this point. She has her old house, or the house that Wanda gave her. Huge house for one person. I wonder if she ever goes into her basement. Is that the door to the basement? Oh. Hmm. Nicholas Scratch. Her rabbit? So her rabbit is her kid in this life? TikTok? <laughs> How much did they pay for that? Who holds a bottle like that? The decor in this house is really nice. I love that lamp. Oh, I guess she's talking about going too far out of the hex. I'm trying to remember if there was an, a car accident or something. Oh, so she hates her? Hmm, the brooch. I'm kind of enjoying this direction that Aubrey Plaza is coming from with her character. What are you doing? Is that Joe Locke already? So he's another person who's gotten into the hex. <laughs> well, you gotta get up to catch him. He's not gonna stop from you yelling at him. Oh. Okay, he's got moves. Damn. <laughs> Is that Aubrey Plaza in the car? Oh, okay. Do you have handcuffs? How did she even... Okay. <laughs> Edward's sister hands. I can tell you to break into the home of a decorated detective. I want you decorated and I want you to break in. Now. Okay. <laughs> The eyeliner um, and the makeup, I think, really work for him. I guess it's just a little different from like the look and um, Heartstopper, but the edgy look 
kind of works for him. Uh oh. <laughs> She's dangerous. Are his fingers black? They do look black. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that should be obvious. Not that road. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> that was... Huh? What the... How did that happen? What? Is he doing magic? Are they actually in her house the whole time? Does he already know magic? Seems like he might be doing a spell to like break down the hex. Makes me wonder if she's like sleeping the whole time and this is happening in her mind. Green eyes. Oh. Like the Scarlet Witch. That shouldn't be there. It was left in the library. Very direct. Hmm. Could she have gotten herself out? What? It's the layers of her outfits in WandaVision. Wow. It's like the layers of the spell. I love that look. Interesting, though. Are you telling me she could have gotten herself out the whole time? Oh, this effect is really cool, by the way. Where is she? Back in her house. Oh my gosh. Wasn't he, like... Wasn't he in his yard in the beginning of WandaVision? How long have I been living in this cesspool of a town? You don't remember. Catch me if you can. About three years. Wow. I don't remember. Oh. So that just been she just been humoring me? You ought to help out, no? So yeah, it's like been in her head the whole time. <laughs> Librarian. Tools of code. <laughs> She's like, get back in there. So everybody in the town has just kind of been avoiding her. I guess they're going to think that's a role, too. I'm surprised that there's, like, you know, nudity here. What's the rating for this? So did she snap out of it with no magic? Hmm. So I guess Joe Locke was in her living room the whole time? Nicholas Scratch. She's 
Joe Locke? Did she, like, tie him up or something? No, it's a woman's voice. Okay, Joe Locke. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh my god, who is this? Is this Aubrey Plaza's character? Okay, it is, but <laughs> if she was so friendly the whole time, why'd she have to bust in like that now? Oh. Oh, so she's been looking for her. So she couldn't touch her before. Maybe some kind of protection spell or something. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> hmm, so there's some rules. I guess she just likes using the dagger or the blade? Because she has her magic. I wonder what she did to her to piss her off so much. I wonder if she can't take green magic? Because Aubrey Plaza's character is supposed to be a green witch. Maybe she has to take purple magic? Wouldn't make sense because she took Wanda's magic. Oh, okay, Disney. Oh, she healed it. Wow. So that was a pretty interesting episode. <laughs> um, kind of confused about what's going on exactly. You know, we've seen like little teasers and things like that. But why does Aprilaza's character hate Agatha so much? You know, she was helping her to like get out of the hex or whatever that was, the spell. She could have just killed her without getting her out of the hex. She could have just killed her as she was, you know? So I wonder why she would try to help her to get out. But I guess, you know, as an ulterior motive, maybe everything that happened just now was her, like, just messing with her head. Maybe she always wanted her to be free because there's something that she needs from her. I guess we'll see as the show goes on. Thank you all for watching with me, and I'll see you in the next video.